family and goes, everybody shut up, just do what I'm saying. Trust me, that's when all my family burst out laughing and pointing at me. <laughs> imagine, they say, imagine all the different kinds of dead we would be. <laughs> Men are not heroes. If you make it to middle age as a man, you are a jelly baby with a few quid. That's all you are. <laughs> Men are not ready for anything. I wasn't ready for anything important in my life. Men spend their whole lives going, what now? Really? <laughs> That's how they die, okay? <laughs> women are ready. Women are ready because women have imagined things and when women imagine things, they feel them. And they think things they feel them because they have an emotional dimension to their imagination. So they can think about something that hasn't happened yet and feel it and go, hmm, and make a decision based on that. And you talk to a man and you talk about what's going to happen and the consequences of his action now, of what he's doing and what's going to happen in time. And he's going, yeah, yeah, I know. Hmm. He doesn't know. He's not seeing anything. You know, it's just there, fucking snow shaker going, <laughs> nothing. There's nothing there. Which is why the world is constantly at war. Men going, yeah, I know. No, they don't know. <laughs> women know. Because women have all their lives, they have a basket of maybes on their arm that they can take out and suck like candies whenever they want. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Men have a lollipop of now. That's all they know. Now, uh, now, now. <laughs> They're trapped, always, in now. I wasn't ready for children, for example. My wife said to me, you know, when are we gonna have children? I said, I'll think about it. Now that's not very reassuring for her, because she knows I'm gonna think about it with my male brain, which is just a monkey with an erection that wants pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's the matter? Did you poke yourself in the eye with your erection again? Why don't you put some pizza on that? You'll feel better. <laughs> So she got tired of asking me, and she just went, oh look, I dropped a chip, I dropped a french fry, picked it up, will you? Pick it up. There you go. I said, what are you doing? Was like, no, I don't know, I dropped another one. Like, Wait, why are you walking backwards into the bathroom? What are you doing? I don't know, I just am. Oh look, a bath. Oh look, a shower curtain around the bath. Oh look, a bath full of children. Are you ready now, you fucking prick? <laughs> so, then the man has to admit to himself, he has children. <laughs> has to start looking after them. The children are freaks. All the weird things they want, that they need, ugh, needing things. Men hate that because it beats wanting things, and that's what men are good at. Walking around going, where's all the shit I want? Is it here? No, what's the fucking point of anything then? And then children come along with their needs. Men are still busy going, I want, I want, and then children go, Men are finished. Nobody cares what men want anymore. There's children are like, I need it. <laughs> they need weird things. Help with maths homework. <laughs> they know I work in theater. <laughs> they still ask. Hey, theater guy. Theater dad, look, X minus Y equals C. And C is an integer and possibly negative value. <laughs> what about that, theater guy? <laughs> they know that I'm like all my friends who work around theaters and the theater people who walk into places like this and go, oh, 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 I love this space. I love it. Is there any way we can make this bigger and smaller at the same time? <laughs> Somebody get me a cappuccino, please. No coffee or milk. I love this. <laughs> people. We have to bluff it with the kids. Okay, X, we all know about X, and Y, Y isn't as good as it's missing. And then there's C, and negative values, we can't have those, we can't have those. In the end, you just have to be honest and say, okay, look, look, here is five euros, okay, or at home, you know, a pound. And here is... <laughs> what? Is there a problem with your... Now you know how many sweets, how many candies you can buy with this, okay? Imagine how many, here's, here's 10 euros, okay? Two whole pounds. Imagine, <laughs> imagine how many teeth you can make explode with this! I didn't understand all this shit first time around. I'm not looking at it. Take the money, see you later. Thank you. <laughs>
You have to be honest with them. They need all kinds of things. But of course, they're good for men. Children are good for men. They turn men into people. <laughs> By coming up to going, Daddy, Daddy, what's your favorite thing, Daddy? What's your favorite thing? <laughs> So this is my favourite thing. This symbolises everything that's important to me. Can I see your daddy? Yes, you can. There it is. Oh, it's very interesting. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> oh, shut it, daddy! <laughs> is this still your favourite thing? <laughs> and the man adapts and grows and learns. <laughs> Children give you terrible choices. That's the games they like to play. They're there are the games they like to play. Would you rather? <laughs> Would you rather? Eat your own face <laughs> from a plate with broken fingers or eat somebody else's face <laughs> with a knife and fork? <laughs>